Researchers in Uganda said the new Ebola vaccine trial will take two years to complete. Dr. Juliet Mwanga, director of the Mbarara Research Center, says the vaccine combines antigens, a substance that induces an immune response in the body from the Ebola virus, a common adenovirus, and the Vaccinia Ankara vaccine. It's manufactured by the U.S.-based Janssen and Janssen Company. This year and year vaccine aims at prevention, so it's primary prevention before you have contact at all. Yes, and the other difference, as I said, it has two parts. So you're given the first dose, and 56 days later you get another dose, which boosts your immunity. So hopefully it works for a longer time. Currently, Uganda is using an Ebola vaccine by the Mark Pharmaceutical Company, but Mwanga says they need to try out new vaccines too. Uganda's move is motivated by its proximity to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where more than 1,800 people have died from the Ebola virus since August 2018. The new trial targets 800 health workers and frontline support workers who meet a few basic requirements. Someone has to be 18 years and over. Um, uh, then, uh, of course, they have to be um, able to sign informed consent. Then they must not have been uh, vaccinated with Ebola before or they must not have been suffered from Ebola before. The researchers are hopeful the vaccine, if effective, will help Uganda and neighboring countries that have suffered through Ebola outbreaks. Uganda has seen no new cases of Ebola in recent weeks, but health officials have been on high alert since June when two adults and a five-year-old boy who had crossed into Uganda from the DRC died of the virus. Halima Athmani for VA News, Marara, Uganda.